Hello everybody and welcome back. Today is a really interesting day. Today we are uh, doing another one-shots episode. In today's one-shots episode, I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, which is the newest Yu-Gi-Oh! video game to come out. Um, so this is the... the, the this the home page, start page, whatever. This is my profile. I can go into my deck and show you guys what I'm rocking. So this is the deck I'm uh, I currently using. Uh, while I'm, while I take my time to build this deck, so I'm using this one mainly. Uh, I'm gonna go into deck editor here. All right. So these are all the cards that I have in my deck, right? So let's go through them, shall we? First off, I've got three copies of Lero Los uh, Cobalt Sparrow, and let us bring this up to get a closer look at it and read its effect. So if this card is special summoned, you can add one level one winged beast monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of Lerilisk Cobalt Sparrow once per turn. And then a Wind Axias monster that was summoned using this card on the field as material gains this effect. Your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. So it basically makes any of these guys down here the black cards, not the purple cards. Uh, the black cards makes any of these black cards immune. They're all win. Uh, all my XCs monsters are wind elemental. Next is Lerilisk Sapphire Swallow. Let's get. It. I have three copies of this in the deck. If you control a winged beast monster, you can special summon both this card and one level one winged beast from your hand. You can only use the effect of Lair Lusk Sapphire Swallow once per turn. A wind Xyz monster that was summoned using this card on the field as material gains the, this effect. If you Xyz summon, if it's an Xyz summon, or it is Xyz summon, you target one Lair Lusk monster in your grave or GY, attach it to this card. As it's uh, or attach it to this card as material. Then there's three copies of this, which is Lerilisk Turquoise Warbler. Oh, okay. So there's a better look at it. If you can control, if you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is special summoned from your hand, you can special summon one Lerilisk. A monster from your hand or graveyard or GY. You can only use the effect of Lerilisk Turquoise Warbler once per turn. And then I've got three copies of this one. This one is Lerilisk Barrel Canary. If this card is in your hand, you could target one Lerilisk monster in your GY special summon both this card and that card. Uh, that monster. You can also, also you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except Xyz monsters. You can only use this effect, yeah, you can only use this effect of Lerilisk Berry once per turn. So you can use it every turn. A wind Xyz monster that was summoned using this card on the field as material gains this effect. This card gains 200 attack. Also, it, its control cannot switch. So, uh, essentially, if I use this as an Xyz material, uh, it means uh, someone with a card like Enemy Controller, for example, can't actually use Enemy Controller. Uh, and then there's this one. Uh, Lerilisk Celestine Wagtail. I've got three of these. 
If this card is special summoned, you can add one layerless spell slash trap from your deck to your hand. If this card is in your GY, you can target one layerless XC's monster you control. Attach this card to it as material. You can only use the effect of layerless Celestine Wagtail once per turn, which is really, really good. I then have a copy of Raigeki, destroy all your all monsters your opponent controls. That only affects your opponent and only your opponent. Fusion summon, uh, which is polymerization. So fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion materials. One monster reborn, a pot of duality. And three bird calls. So that's Lair Lusk bird call. Closer look at the artwork here. One ta take one Lair Lusk monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the GY. Then you can summon one Lair Lusk monster with a different name from your hand. You can only activate one Lairless monster or one Lairless bird call per turn. Alright, so that's uh, three copies of that. And then there's three copies of this, which is if all monsters you control uh, are winged beast monsters, which they are, and you control at least two with different original names, pay 600 life points, draw two cards. You can only use wing rebuttal once per turn which is good to have and then there's this sorcerers yeah sorceresses spell wall all monsters you control gain 300 attack during only during your turn only all monsters you control gain 300 defense during your opponent's turn only so it can uh, boost your defense or, or uh, boost your attack depending on whose turn it is I've always thought maybe having three of these is ridiculous, so let's get rid of one of those. I didn't mean to exchange it for change slime, so put that back. So, next one is Lyriless Bird Strike. So there's the closer look at the card itself. If you control a Lyriless monster, negate the effects of all face monsters your opponent controls until the end of the turn. You can only activate one Lyriless Bird Strike per t uh, turn. Which is a really good effect. And then the final one of the final Lairless cards. Lairless Burke Sanctuary. You can add this is like a two effect spell, so this is continuous. You can add two winged beasts XC's monsters you control. Uh, attach one of those monsters to the other has material, transfer its materials to that monster. So basically if I uh, control two uh, winged beast XC's monsters, I, you know, merge the two together in a sense. If you control an XC's monster with three or more materials, you can draw one card. And you, you can only use the, each effect of Lair Lusk Bird Sanctuary once per turn. Then, of course, Trap Hole, which is when you're, it's a trap of normal, a normal trap. When your opponent normal or flip summons one monster with thousand or more attack, target that monster, destroy that target. We got two of these. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, there's one of these cards that I don't need for you. Yeah, it's that, because it's a continuous spell. And I've already got two of them in the deck. Then there's Dust Tornado. Uh, target one spell or trap your opponent controls. Destroy that target. Then you can set one spell or trap from your hand. Which is pretty simple, straightforward. When this is bonus trap hole. When your opponent summons a monster slash monsters with 1500 or more attack destroy that monsters slash monsters monsters slash monsters with 1500 attack if you do banish it so that one gets destroys the monster but also banishes the monsters and things and here's the last lairless carry target one lairless monster you control the attack of all monsters your opponent currently controls becomes that monster's current attack also, their levels slash ranks become 1, 
when you add when an opponent's monster declares an attack on your leader's monster so here's the uh the second effect that i can activate if i wanted to so it's like if they declare an attack on their monster you can banish this uh card from your gy the graveyard your monster's attack becomes that opponent's monster's attack until the end of the turn you can only use each effect of Lyrilus Phantom Feathers once per turn, which is pretty good. That's why I run three of them in it. So yeah, I'm currently working with this uh, deck. I will be modifying it as time goes by, but yeah. I run in my extra deck though, here's here's the cards for that. So first let's go looking at the Fusion Monster, Lyrilus Independent Nightingale. Lyrilus Independent Nightingale requires one Lyralisk assembled Nightingale, uh, plus one Lyralisk monster. If this card is fusion summoned using an XC's monster on the field, as fusion material whose original name includes Lyralisk, you can increase this card's level by the number of XC's materials that monsters Monsters slash monsters had this card gains attack equal to its level times 500. Uh, so if you had like if you used five materials to make the XC's monster that that you would use in the process of fusing this card. So if this card was to uh, be summoned and the Lyralisk that you s used to summon it had five five overlay units or five materials then this would gain five stars so it would bring it up to six stars right but it gains 500 uh attack equal to its level so that's 500 times six and it's already got a thousand so you can see where that can get a little of power unaffected by other card of cards effects um once per turn you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to this card's level times 500 which is amazing uh then we go into this one so this one is Lyralisk reticle starling you know so it sees monster rank one it has zero attack zero defense but this is where it gets interesting is in its effect two plus level one monsters all Lyralisk monsters are level one so it's easy to get out if this card is XC summoned, you can target one face-up monster on the field. It gains 300 attack and defense for each material attached to this card. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card. Add one level one winged beast monster from your deck to your hand. All battle damage you take from battles involving this XC's monster is also inflicted to your opponent, which that effect in itself is amazing. So I run two copies of that. I run one copy of Assemble Nightingale, this is the card that's required to summon the other card, the fusion summon. So this one is two plus level one monsters, gains 200 attack material attached to it. This card can attack directly while this card has material it can attack a number of times each battle up to the number of materials attached to it so if you've got five materials attached to it it'll have 200 attack points times five added to its attack and on top of that it can attack five times in one turn which is devastating and it can that like each of these attacks will be a direct attack so yes once per turn quick effect you can detach one material from this card until the end of it, this turn Lyralisk monsters you control cannot be destroyed by bad lore card effects also you take no damage which is an interesting effect then moving into the next one which is Lyralisk in some blue robin in some blue robin 2 plus level 1 monsters gains 500 attack for each material attached to it if your opponent special summons a monster except mo monsters a monster slash monsters except during the damage step you can attach one material from this card and target one of those special summon monsters return it to to the hand if this ca uh, card in your possession is sent to the gy by your opponent's card you can then target one other Lyralisk monster in your gy and add it to your hand and then here's one of my favorites 
Lara Lusk Promenade Trush 2 plus level 1 monsters gains 500 attack for each material attached to it. Once per turn, you can detach one material car uh, from this card, then target one spell or trap your opponent controls, shuffle it into the deck at the start of the damage step. If another monster you control uh, battles, you can detach any number of materials from the card. That monster you control gains 300 attack for each material detached until the end of this turn. It is an amazing card. I've often gotten this monster out of the field and gotten its attack up to like 5100 attack. So that's 5100 attack. Just going ham on the thing. I, I can actually show you guys uh, some recording uh, of my uh, previous duels if I can find where they're stored. Let me have a look around. We could go into replay, that's it. So uh, this is my most recent one. All right, so uh, let's let's watch this together guys, because this this is a, this is a really good match. I think I remember th this match where I got down to like very low health, very low amount of LP like life points and holy god did it just it was just painful for, for for me right but then i made a comeback i'm pretty sure in this match i straight up kick his ass spoon tm <laughs> spoon tm is the uh, the guy i'm fighting right now it's like holy shit Pretty sure he kicks my ass for a bit. <laughs> yeah, there he goes, destroying my monsters. Even though I could have used that to actually summon my um, my super special monsters, you can actually kind of see the cards that I've already got uh, on the field there. But I I did have the opportunity to exceed early on. But yeah, he he does start kicking my ass here now for a bit. So Monster Reborn counts the um, card brought back by that as a special summon, and because it was special summon, I think I do get the opportunity to use its effect. Here comes my trap. Um, yeah, my trap. I was gonna say Dark Hole, but no, it's the trap. Hole. He chained in with his ballista. There's my uh, first life point loss. Actually, I don't think this is my one of my more recent duels because I still have my duel companion here and board is different. I'll go to one of my more recent duels now in a minute because I don't think this is the one where I went all the way in the the end. Yeah, no, this is back when I was still using trap tricks and stuff like that. But yeah. on this one because this isn't the badass one. No, I think this is the badass one. Yeah, 28th of February. Let's uh... I believe this is the one where I almost fucking got killed and then I get back. Yeah, here we go. This is more up to date. Yeah, they were using like a, like a blue eyes deck. For the dragon's deck. So. Yeah, no, it was blue eyes. Blue eyes. I was, I was almost destroyed in this fucking duel. It was horrible. <laughs> it really was. A blue eyes twin burst dragon. Silver scry. They couldn't attack me this turn because of the trap bear that I activated. They got another blue eyes out on the field. And they were going hard on it. But they were able to banish my uh, my monster so that my monster ended up in there.
And there goes 3,000 of my HP. And a lot of points. I think this is where things start turning around. I, I even, or maybe not. Let's fast forward a little. Okay, he, he gets in really, really low. Like, I remember getting my life points down really low, and I was all like, yeah, fuck that. So yeah, I got to about like 800 life points. This is where things start changing, if I remember correctly. This is where I turned to tables. Because it was like, ah, fuck yeah. I activated Wingward Bottle, I did uh, Bird Strike. I just filled the board. I didn't want to see some Remind you, like, I only have 200 life points at this point left. I did the, like, a few little moves here and there. I got rid of his, uh, his first fusion there. So his strongest monsters are off the board. You'll see now how, how I how I come back into it like with a fucking overwhelming victory. I go hard in the next like turn or two. Down to 100 life points, boys, and you guys will see exactly how I won this. So I, I used my Clearless Bird Call to bring out a Barrel Canary, and I'm all like, let's do this, boys, let's go. Out goes Barrel Canary, out goes that. I get a Sapphire Swallow, and, but I'm able to summon another Clearless Promenade. And boy, does this end. I was basically all like, fuck yeah, man. Now, this wasn't the duel I won. So the, the, yeah, I won. There, there, there's me. Uh, I won against King Arthur, whatever. But that wasn't the duel I won, where I basically uh, got up to 5,100 points, like attack points, and just fucking wrecked. So if we go into dueling, uh, we've got free duel rooms, so we can create a room, I can spectate, whatever, I can enter a room. Um, but I need like a room code for that. But if I was to go into here, I could just do like random duels, right? This deck is prohibited for some reason. Does it need 40 cards? Yeah, I think it needs 40 cards to actually qualify. Uh, so let's just try and see if we can get a card. Uh, I'm just going to get another monster card. So what I'm going to go do is go into here, go into effect monsters, because I love myself up with some effect monsters, and do it like this. And then we're going to narrow that by the ones they already own. You know what? Let's go with... What monster could we use as a fiddler monster? Well, we use Junk Grimo. Now we can use this if we wanted to. Yeah, but if we go into like match history, we can show like uh, I believe it was there are no match histories. But like if I wanted to go here, I could go and spectate. I could see who's dueling right now. So here's some Japanese person dueling, uh, like a duel room or something. Well, some Japanese person's duel room, but you know what I mean. We're currently on season three of dueling. Let's just go into a random duel, shall we? I'm not gonna take too long. I'm just gonna show you the like, beginnings of a duel. I might even just, you know, back out because it is getting late. I'll go a second. Okay. So... Down to draw. Okay, Celestial Wagtail or Celestia Tail if this card is special summoned out of So we're gonna activate that. We're gonna set this. Activate Bird Call. And we're going to go with. Let's see. 
We're gonna go with Gobble Sparrow. Special summon to, to, to the field, and then uh, this one. Activate effect. I guess we're waiting on him. Okay, then uh, I'm gonna use another bird call. Yeah, bird call. Gonna set this bird call. And we're going to summon Love to get this on the field before I summon. So I really have to get them into defense mode, but I just summoned them. Um I'm gonna end turn. We'll now find out what he's using. Okay. His deck most likely is going to use Synchro Summons. Yeah. Most likely Synchro Summons. Uh, yep, Synchro Summoning. Junk Speeder. Don't worry, I got two ways of reviving the card right away. That's a lot of cards. Don't tell me he's got a synchro summon again. Or can he? Can you summon more than one in one turn? I don't know. It's been a while since I've used synchros myself. Oh, synchro summoning again. Going from that into Stardust Charge Warrior forever. Okay. This guy's gonna go fucking hard on me, I know it. Uh, what's the name of this monster? Junk Servant? Okay. I thought it was Jack something. I'd be able to okay, Jack. <laughs> oh god. This is gonna be painful, I know it. Dude, go in your main phase, please. Or move on from your main phase. You don't need any more cards on the field, you don't need to go into any more cards, you've already got enough to fucking kill me in one turn if you want to. Oop, Stardust Dragon. So yeah, he's doing the whole Stardust deck. He 
He's a Starduster. Bro, you, you okay? You done? No? Though to be fair, I haven't won every single last duel I've been in. But I have won quite a few. But I don't think this is one where I'm gonna win. Don't think I've had the time to win it. <laughs> Unless I pull out some massive bullshit in the next turn. Because this will be the last turn if, if I don't do anything about it. Okay. Right. Time to draw. Okay, I'm gonna activate this. I'm going to summon this. Can I not activate its effect? Okay, there we go. Gonna activate that. I'll take you, thank you. This counts as a special summon if I remember correctly. So this is gonna go face up. And then bird call to this. Activate that bird strike. Do you have anything to go against that, buddy? No. Okay. Can I not summon this, please? Because I haven't done a normal summon in this entire turn. I'm fine with not doing a normal summon, but I'm like... Surely allow, it should allow me to normal summon that. So what we're gonna do... Is go straight into this one, because it's probably my best monster. And the effects of these two. And we're gonna go here. Pretty sure he gets 500 per thing. Plus the 300 from here and the 200 from you. Let's get rid of that. It's one less monster on the field for them. I'm gonna end my turn.
and I'm dead. <laughs> oh, I had like a, a chance last, like that last turn. Like I had a chance. Yeah. I I blew the the chance. <laughs> Let, let, let's try that again, so I'll do one more. If you guys want, to make, want me to make more uh, videos on this uh, game, then I will. I'll go first this time. Alpha Wolf. Wonder how Alpha, Alpha Wolf really is, you know? First off, activate that. Next. Go into that. Summon you. I'm actually going to go into Radical Starlight first, maybe. Or Assemble Nightingale. Now we'll go into this one. And we'll go boom, boom, boom. 300 uh, times 3. It's not going to be as much as it could be. And then there's the extra 300. Uh, thing. But it does get the um, special effects from the other cards. I could detach one material from this card. I have one level one winged beast monster from your deck to your hand. Um, sure. Do that. And. Let's see. Let's go with you. I don't know about what I'm gonna be doing now, but let's see. This guy most likely got a blue eyes deck.
I have no idea what that was supposed to have done. Oh great, he's got a blue eyes on the field. Well, that sucks that that carrot's gone. Summon. First strike. I'm not doing too well, am I? Seems like Alpha Wolf might actually be an Alpha. <laughs> Yeah, when you summon a thing back, we can X these monster back, it doesn't have overlays by default. Let me see. No, oh, can't summon it yet. guy's going into a twin burst. Oh no, not a twin burst. An XC's monster. I thought he was going to go into a twin burst dragon. With his blue eyes deck. Well, this sucks. My turn. 
Time to draw. Bird call. Come on, dude. Oh yeah, you can only do it with face of monsters. Fucking flip some of that first. God damn it. Get rid of true light. Why didn't true light leave? Why the hell do I have a zero attack? That fucking card fucked me over. Okay, now, now my attack is back. I'm like, what the fuck, man? Still missing like 2,000 fucking attack to survive this. Oh shit, oh. It's better than I could have been, but I'm like. I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. These fuckers pretty much got me. Pretty much nothing I could do. Come back from this. Holy shit, that's another one. I'm done, I'm over. I'm like, how the fuck am I gonna survive this? I'm not. He's gonna kill me now. God damn it. I think we're pretty much an hour in, so I'm gonna finish up now, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. Yeah, I, I de-ranked. You lose a match, you lose a rank or something like that. It's like, you you can go down ranks, essentially. I'll, I'll probably have to work towards getting, you know, my rank back up. This is a one-shot, but I, I could turn this into a regular very video series. It won't be a Let's Play. It's like, how, how the hell could you make a Let's Play out of this? This would just be some random, like, fluff to pad out the release of... I, I could probably record these and use them as, like, fluff for me to kind of, like, give you guys some some sort of content uh, until my next major release so yeah until then see all you guys next time